Hi guys, it's Rob Ring here. I hope you're doing very well. I would like to start this video with a little poem. Thank you for <laughs> indulging me that. So, today's video is called Hack Your Brain with Predictability During Anxiety and Depersonalization. So, I woke up this morning colossally low, as low as low can be, unusually low, um, particularly low. But I got up and I did a bit of meditation, a bit of yoga, but then I lounged around for a bit with my attention not really on anything. Um, but then I picked myself up <laughs> and I forced myself to shave, shower, all that. And whilst in the shower, I broke my own personal record for longest, <laughs> longest time under cold water. Uh, it was probably 30 very slow breaths, you know. One. Thirty of those. So you got the hot water, then that freezing cold, and then back to hot. And when I came out, I was I was different. Let me tell you, I was I was very uh, alert. So this is just one example, or my example of why it's necessary to make life predictable, because it's seriously unpredictable and, and chaotic, and unexpected things happen all the time, as you may have noticed. Um, you need to train your psyche, your being, your nervous system, your body in predictability and, and positive habits to buffer against that and also just to maximize the way you be and live in the world you know um, an example of training your awareness or psyche or <laughs> brain or nervous system or stomach so whatever it is it's all of those I say to you find all the red you can in this video I say find all the Blue, you can in this video. You know, I say find all the porn you can in this video. It's amazing what you can do and the plasticity of our brains and attention. So, an example of this, hopefully you can't relate to, but probably a lot of you can. You see someone in the street who looks like someone who scares you or, or terrifies you, and your response to that is to, to feel fear or terror even though that person poses no threat to you. Um, but your brain is acting unpredictably, well, predictable, but you know what I mean. It's illog illogical, really, to be making you terrified of someone who has doesn't even know who you are, let alone have any um, bad intentions towards you, you know? Your brain is thinking survive. It's, it's, that's the primary... front, the, the front line, maybe, of, of what's going on with us. <laughs> Your brain's thinking survive. That's why it's terrified of the, the guy who the brain thinks might be the one who terrifies you, you know? Or why if the first time you try a cold shower, it screams, no, no, um, <laughs> because it's it's thrown into unfamiliar territory and it becomes very alert and looking for new uh, things and information. And it's just, a, and it, it reboots and stimulates you. It might even reboot you at a genetic level. The, the culture, I think. Um, I hope to eventually, so after breaking my record today, I hope to eventually be able to totally relax instantly when freezing cold water comes in. Um, in the shower time, because I feel that will be some kind of mastery. I'm some kind of hypocrite because the de I've let the de-realisation. Apparently, I've, it, it took longer than it, did, it does for most people, but I have let it limit... Uh, what I do, and where I go. I still see people, I still go different cities, I still see friends, I still have friends, I still see family, I still have family. Um, but, <laughs> like I went to it, before these symptoms hit, about five years ago, I went to India on my own. I went to, for a week, to get back from band practice. Uh, I was like, obsessed with music. Uh, Turkey for like three or four days, Morocco for three days, all for the same reason, on my own. A bit of anxiety, but no problem really, but now, whew, it would be like going on a small dose of psychedelics, or what I've heard psychedelics are like. Anyway, so what underpinning all this is the need to stay focused, whether you're staying focused on working hard, you know, or, or your, your, it's the kind of easy, relaxed, playful focus when you, you're, you're on Mario Karts, doing the, um, the 30 seconds of Mario Karts that you've allocated to yourself because you've done what you needed to get do, what you needed to get done during the day. Um, things you should have done during the day and did do. 
so you feel satisfied and like you learned a bit of Mario Kart maybe. Um, it's important to set aside little treats for yourself like that, although I'm kind of a hypocrite in that as well. I work flat out or I'm too lazy, it seems. So <laughs> that's it guys. Um, I guess the real hack is the focus underpinning everything we talked about. Um, please share your stories with me. I, I, that's my favourite thing, to do, to do the video and get comments, depending on what the, <laughs> the comments say. But I like it when people say their own truths to me, their own story, you know? And I'll read it, and I'll... Because probably YouTube, <laughs> probably YouTube a bit more polite than um, subreddit. I'll be totally honest, I, I don't read the subreddit comments anymore because they range from death threats to love letters, and I found it too... It might sound a bit tragic and pathetic and weaselly and weak in a modern way, but too stressful. Anyway, I'm going to work on my YouTube channel, convince myself to get a job <laughs> as well. Um, I'm going to eat well, I'm going to do some more yoga, do some more meditation, I'm going to speak to a friend, I might see a friend, I'm going to, well, I don't like that because the place I was living in, all my friends were there and things ended strangely. Anyway, bye. And much love to you, and have a productive and therefore more likely to be peaceful day. Bye-bye.